That's right. I statement. thought you would. Uh, but the point is, I think that the absence of this public debate on every level, including all of your troop demands and the grantings of those demands, was something that we have to really pin down on, on the shoulders of Lyndon Johnson. He deliberately lied or withheld information, although he had promised during the campaign with Goldwater that he would not lie or withhold. And he deliberately did this, and the American public knew nothing of what was going on, and neither did the Congress. And Gulf of Tonkin itself, that resolution, I, came I just, out of ignorance as I, well. I, I totally disagree with this. I, I think, thought you I, would. I, I, I think Mr. Johnson's uh, motives were certainly honorable. I don't think he intentionally lied. I don't think he intentionally held anything back from the Congress. I have every reason to believe that he kept the congressional leaders informed on every one of his moves. One thing, though, is if you are... But he believed you, General. I think, I think what happened with Lyndon Johnson, you knew him far better than I could. I didn't know him well, at all. I, I had... He, he believed you when you were over-optimistic, when you said you could end the war, and he, I think, in his heart, not being a military No, man, that's not true. I think he totally believed you. Yeah, well, I think he believed me, but uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, I, was not, I was not overly op optimistic. Uh, every prediction I made came true. I did never, did I say, when the war would be over. I never made the forecast that we could end the war at any given time frame. Never. Never. This is all, fic all, all friction. Uh, fiction and friction. 